Abstract Jelly Project Part 2. Thanks for coming back. Here I've taken some white tissue and I'm going to just take a Sharpie marker and just make some scribbles. It does try to move on you a little bit and I had to try it a couple times. And then I decided I wanted to tear it up and just get a little bit more irregular movement in the lines. And you can see I'm starting to gather some of my ephemera. I'm pulling out some dictionary text to add to what I already have on the table. I cut some strips of orange tissue. I pulled some letters out. And you can see here I've been cutting out of a 6x6 six six paper some of the things that I thought I might use. I'm not sure at this point what I'm going to use and what I'm not going to use. I like to just kind of gather it all together and set it over to the side. Here I'm using just an ordinary cookie cutter. And I want to make some paint rings. I was a little bit afraid to put the paint on directly on the canvas because I wasn't sure where I wanted it. So I went back to the white tissue again. And I just put some rings and tore it into some scraps. This way I can place it on the canvas, move it around, decide where I want it. But I'm not committed to it on the canvas. You can see here that I stopped recording and forgot to hit record. But I've adhered the tissue and the orange tissue and the newsprint randomly. I've decided I like this top half of the paper. So here I am applying the rings. And I'm just using some Mod Podge. Now I'm trying to be careful because I'm rushing and I didn't quite let some of that paint dry. And you can see that I'll nick one little in and then I have to go in and kind of wipe up the smear. So I decided I better take a heat gun to it before I try to really tack it down or do much over it. So I give it just a few minutes to get make sure those rings are dry. And I just trim, I'm sorry it's out of frame, but I'm just trimming the edges of the overhang off. I work in a tight space, so I like to get things out of my way and kind of move them as I go so that they're not in the on the table. Here I'm just starting to place some of the ephemera and just trying to get some visual interest. the letters X, Y, Z out and I <coughs> decided I was going to place them along the bottom. Then I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to frame. I had a little red smear up in that upper corner that I definitely wanted to include. So I needed to make sure that those letters were going to fall within my 5x7 frame. So now as I Mod Podge over the letters, they're self-adhesive, but I want to just make sure that they're really coated. But I like to take and wipe back off the Mod Podge off the top of them. Here I'm adding my last little bit of ephemera.
This is the point where I decide I've just about got it where I want. So I'm going to dry it. And I want to just trim it down a little bit. Start isolating the part that I'm going to actually use. Now I was going to measure about seven and a half inches, but then I decided I wasn't exactly sure, so that I'd go ahead and I'd just mark it. As long as it's going to overhang that center part, I know I'll be okay. Pretty satisfied with that, so I go ahead and sign it. Grouping all my scraps together because I have enough for another small canvas so I could have a companion piece at a later date. Thanks for watching.